Hello for everybody, Jonathan Fulwright Hi. with us and it's a great because this evening will be amazing because uh, Jonathan prepare the most incredible program and I'll tell about this please. <laughs> okay, so there is um, quite a few pieces by Paderewski and then some pieces by uh, Chopin as well and I'm finishing with uh, the Carnival by Schumann but I'm beginning with uh, two transcriptions of Bach uh, Chorale Prelude by Mussolini, um, but I particularly enjoy the, the, the pieces by Paderewski because they're so beautiful and so unusual. And I want to talk about uh, that you are so interesting Polish music. Why? Yes, um, I just like the style of it. I, I think the melodies are fantastic. Um, it's very romantic, the, 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 the genre that I play. Um, and it's it sort of it speaks to me. I, I think there's lots of dances in this music, um, and there are some fantastic composers who wrote really well for the piano. And I think it's a shame that sometimes some of the the lesser known composers they become forgotten. Maybe because styles changed and fashions change, and where a lot of composers were going more uh, modern, um, a lot of the other composers, they decided to stay within the romantic idiom uh, and as a result they, they become forgotten, you know, so it's almost a feeling that after Chopin there's really nothing then until, you know, Szymanowski and then that's it, you know, it's, but there's a huge number of composers between Chopin and Szymanowski mm -hmm. that are just forgotten, which is a shame. When you start uh, interesting Polish music and when you are realized that you need to do this. You need to play this music to make it um, more popular. Well, I've always been a, a fan of Paderewski. Um, when I was very young, my parents had a, an old a recording of him playing, uh, playing Chopin, but also some of his own compositions. And I, I just loved the way he played. Um, and I was fascinated by Paderewski, the man, you know, a, a, an amazing humanitarian and uh, a politician and he was multi-talented there's just n not really many people that happen you know that like him in this world so uh, i think that was one of the main reasons really and then you started to discover polish composer yeah 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 because after uh, after paderewski uh, I, I came across the composer uh, sigismund stoyovsky uh, who was a great friend of paderewski uh, i think he also had some piano lessons with him when he was younger but they became very close friends. Um, and in actual fact, there's a story that um, Paderewski actually introduced uh, the future wife uh, to, uh, of, of Stoyovsky to him. So it was through Paderewski that, that Stoyovsky got married to uh, a, a pianist from the country of Peru. I know that you have a lot of CD, yes, but now I want to, to um, talk about the most popular, yeah, about shopping. Okay, yes, well, uh, Chopin is uh, obviously a very popular composer and people love his music um, and yes that, that, that does very well but there's also I, uh, one of the comp uh, CDs that I recorded a few years ago was during the, the celebrations of Chopin and it was a, a CD composed of all the pieces not by Chopin but dedicated to Chopin or in the style of Chopin or a homage to Chopin and there are so many composers that were affected by Chopin. Uh, there's a, a, a Catalan, a Spanish composer called Federico Montu, who wrote a fantastic set of variations. There's some variations by Busoni on themes of Chopin, and lots of other composers, Barakilev, and you know, and some English composers as well. So. And about our days, what do you prepare now after Ukraine? What are you doing? What CD do you prepare? Well, uh, the next thing I do, uh, I have to drive um, back to Katowice because I have to have a concert with. Uh, the Silesian String Quartet, uh, they have a festival there. Uh, and I'm playing some, um, a, a, a quintet by Ignaz Friedman, another Polish composer, pianist, very famous pianist. Uh, and then after that, um, I'm going to be working on uh, some more uh, music by, actually by a Czech composer, Joseph Suk, mm -hmm. who's not famous for his piano music. He's much more famous for his violin writing. But uh, he, he wrote some very beautiful pieces. But this is obviously very different. It's very much Czech uh, <laughs> style music. But I, I think it's good to explore the music of different countries, you know, and rather than just stick with some of the same ones, try different things, you know. 
Okay, it's a plan, but today we have a great opportunity to listen to your music in this inning, so you can invite Ukrainian melons to come to concert to join us. Yes, definitely. Please come along. Uh, I hope you have a great time. Uh, I certainly intend to have a good time. So, thank you. Thank you.